Race family, guys, welcome back to another episode. Today's episode is gonna be a little different because your boy's in pain. I took this little thing for my daughter. She uses this around her head when she's taking naps back here in her car seat so her head doesn't drop. I have terrible, terrible neck pain today, race family. Yesterday is when we rode the jet ski. Definitely the jet ski didn't help, but I showed up to the lake already with neck pain. For the last like three weeks or so, I've had like neck cramping. It could be from working on the Jeep, the Supra on the ground. Every time I lay on the ground, I have to like kind of lift my head to work on it. It could be that, it could be the time spent editing videos with my neck looking down. It could be a handful of stuff. A couple years back, I had side-by-sides and I was extremely reckless with those things. When I say reckless, man, I had so many accidents. I flipped one. Um, I had a Polaris, a four-seater Polaris, and I'll, I'll upload some pictures now, that I used to fly with so smoothly, so nice. It'll it'll land gracefully. Nothing but success with my Polaris. There was one time, this was years ago, there was one time a buddy let me borrow a Yamaha YFZ, I forget the letters, but that little sporty Yamaha two-seater, and that thing was significantly faster than my Polaris, and that thing, see, I took the jump, and I didn't land on the... Uh, on the hill on the way down, I basically landed in the flat. The suspension fully, oh, whenever I raise my arms, it hurts like crazy. I can raise one arm, oh, even that hurt. Oh, this is weird. The pain's right back here. I went to a chiropractor today and got adjusted and that was painful. But certain movements really get me. Others don't, certain movements are bad. But anyhow, with this little Yamaha thing, man, I took this big jump and the thing flattened out. That was like the worst wreck of my life. When that thing hit the ground, I lost my breath. My vision went black. I can feel my spine, like my whole spine just kind of crush. Like I heard it crush. That was the worst pain I'm yet to feel in my life. It was really bad. Um, and I didn't even go to the doctor afterwards. I didn't get checked out. I just, I was in pain for a couple of days. It passed over and I was all right. About a year after that, I flipped another one of those little things, a Yamaha YFZ, and again on a dirt bike track, like really aggressive jumps. I took a huge jump and the suspension wasn't set up accordingly. This thing nose planted and rolled over. And in that video, you can see my, my head just whiplash forward like crazy. So I really do believe some of this pain I'm experiencing now, it's almost like <laughs> delayed pain and, and prior damage caused by all that recklessness. Um, but anyhow, hopefully, man, I'm hoping this stuff passes little by little. I have another chiropractic appointment for tomorrow. Um, but today, I have lots and lots of good news. I don't want to lose the grind and just the everyday hustle for the, uh, for the channel. We're having a lot of fun with this and I want to keep it up. Today, I'm going to go get the injectors. I took my super injectors to Havoc Speed, the local race shop, to get cleaned up. Let's pick them up. Today, I'm receiving a package from Weldon. I sent my Weldon pump to get cleaned. That had been in the car for about two years. He actually went through, but he said it was pretty clean, but he's sending it back. And I'm getting also the voltage regulator back from Weldon. I wanted to install those parts today, but given that I just had some adjustment work done today, I don't want to push it. So I'll probably wait till tomorrow, but let's go get those parts. Let's go get the injectors back. I'm going to go upload a video for you guys, baby. So let's go do that now. Um, and guys, in other news, with I'll dedicate a whole video to this. And with more time, I'll give you guys more information. But I am extremely pumped. My wife and I, us, the race family, we got our very first date already agreed upon at our local drag strip, Palm Beach International Raceway. June 13th, we're going to be hosting our first event ever. And I want all of you guys to come out, show support, meet all of you guys there. I can't wait to share all the details. But briefly, to give you guys a little bit of information, I want this event to be number one, guys. You guys know I'm crazy competitive. I love racing but family always comes first. You guys get that vibe here on the channel. I love meeting you guys. I love seeing families come together, have a smile on their face. The meaning of this event, I really wanted to be a family friendly event. Not that others aren't, but more so an event that we tailor to first timers. We tailor to families. I wanna have bounce houses. We're really pushing hard for food trucks. So bounce houses, food trucks, and I would like to have like a class for first timers, man. I have my mom pretty much convinced to drag race for her first time in her life. Lots of family and friends. I want to see uh, a grandma go against her, her grandson. Just, just stuff that we don't normally see uh, in a typical competitive night at the track. I want it to be very, again, family friendly. We'll be there to guide you guys through that first quarter mile drag pass. There's lots and lots and lots of neat idea that we have for this event. Uh, 
We're really pushing for first responders to get into our event for free, no expense. So if you're a fireman, a police officer, and many other first responders, you guys can get into your, our event for free. That's part of what we're pushing for as well. So lots and lots of great ideas. Palm Beach International Raceway has been a blessing to work with everyone there. So we're really pumped. Again, this is just brief information, but can't wait to share all the details as we keep finalizing everything throughout the week. So super pumped about that. I've been working on editing the the product spotlight videos from ATF Speed. So pumped with that information for you guys. I'm happy about our Spanish Sundays. Lots of good things happening, guys. I have all the parts to get the Jeep and the Super up and running. The second both those cars are up and running. I have so many neat video ideas. Get back to the drag strip and keep competing. So the channel's at a very, very good place. Couldn't be happier. You guys are all the best. Race family. Let's go upload this video and I'll give you guys a couple little clips as I pick up the injectors and do everything else I have to do today. Let's do it, baby. Ah, ah. Certain positions hurt, man. All right, guys, I just uploaded a video. I got the box from Weldon. This is the fuel pump and the voltage regulator. And I saw my mom and told her about the neck pain. And like a mother, there she goes. She sends me off with this little bottle. I'm not even sure there's Tylenol in here. There's two different pills of some sort. Somebody had two today at the end of the night, two in the morning, two at, she gave me this whole programming, but even if I forget it, you know I'm gonna get calls. <laughs> Moms are the best. She's gonna be calling me later, telling me when to have these pills, how am I feeling, am I any better? Now she, she stays worried and she stays on my case. Um, but anyhow, let's shoot over to Havoc Speed. Let's get the injectors. Havoc Speed, baby. Guys, this is my local race shop. I've filmed many times here before. This is where I get all my nitrous fill-ups, injector cleaning, all my fittings for fuel systems, lots and lots of brake lines, just lots and lots of stuff. All the hard lines for my uh, turbo kit, oof, couplers, you name it. This is my local race shop. I get everything here, my fuel. So let's go in there. I dropped off my injectors. Let's, get, let's pick them up today. And let's see, man. I really, I know I should rest, but I really want to work on the car, so it's very likely that I go wrench for a little while. Let's see, see what happens. Havoc Speed, baby, there you have it. There's the phone number, there's the website. Look at all the fittings they have here, guys. I remember before Havoc Speed was a shop here in our town, I would go to other places and I would say I was doing a fuel system, I'd end up with one red fitting, a blue fitting, a black fitting, a chrome fitting. These guys stock what all racers are always looking for, the black stuff, look at that, everything is black. They do crimp fittings here as well. Mickey Thompson tires everywhere. Got to take this mask off just so I can smell the fresh rubber. <laughs> spar plugs, I should get some new spar plugs for the Supra. Anthony, yo! What's up, my brother? What's up? Good to see you. I was trying to look over the counter to see if you had DKR nines. Of course I do. What kind of question is that? That's, That's my boy. How did these guys do? They were fine. Yeah. Man, after the freaking terrible time we had in Texas, I just couldn't take any more chances. I needed to go through it all. So I figured I'll bring them in. Yeah, I spent a little time on that one that uh that I was tapping on. I saw that you were tapping on. Yep. <laughs> guys, there, one of these injectors. Ashley was like, I guess, getting stuck. This guy here, you can see the little tap marks, was getting stuck on me because the car had sat for a couple of months. And as I turned the car on, this one wasn't firing. And I tapped it and tapped it and tapped it till it came back to life. Um, okay, everything's at 100% again. Here it is, baby, the one and only Baltic Supra. All right, guys. So I have to work on it. I have to work on it a little bit. My wife just called me. She's like, don't you dare. You got adjusted today. Don't work on the car. Come straight back. I have to do at least a little something. I won't get underneath it today. I really, really was hoping to drive it today. I would have to install the welding pump, the voltage regulator, but to get the pump, now we're talking, get the car out of here, jack it up, get on the ground. It's more work. Um, so I'll, I'll take the day off in that aspect of it, but at least we have to do at least a little something to feel productive. So let's at least install the injectors and we'll leave the fuel pump for tomorrow. The fuel pump and voltage regulator, once those things are in, the car is ready to drive and we'll test if it's running better than it did at Texas. Um, so these are the injectors like you guys saw. I got them at Havoc Speed. They always do my injector cleaning. If you guys run ethanol, I encourage you guys to really clean your injectors often, guys. 
I like going every six months, so twice a year. Um, but anyhow, enough of that. Let's throw them on real quick. And I'll get on my way. Tomorrow will be another episode. Let me put them here. Let's get to it. I know on a lot of different applications on a lot of different cars, sometimes it's crazy difficult to get to the injectors. On other cars, it's crazy difficult to get to the spark plugs. On a Supra, it's all easy, baby. Spark plugs are easy, injectors are easy. To get to the turbo kit, easy. Intake manifold, easy. Everything with an inline six, life is just so much easier. Bam. That's it. Just missing the Allen key. Tighten this thing up. And that's it. I don't want to push my luck and do too much today and hurt myself more. Give myself a little bit of time to recover. Alright, the injectors are done. Find that Allen key. Done, baby. Let's go ahead and open that package from Walden real quick. One video there. I have a blading here somewhere. Here it is. All right, guys. So this is I've mentioned a few times already. This is my voltage regulator from Weldon, as well as my Weldon fuel pump that I absolutely love. Both products. I love my big Weldon pump, and the voltage regulator has been awesome. I sent both these things back to get serviced, and I have a good relationship with Jim, the man himself, over at Weldon. Yeah, so there's not, nothing really in here, just the pump. Oh wow, fuel pump test. That's pretty cool. Um, just the pump and the little voltage regulator thing here. I'm gonna come back tomorrow, no doubt. Get the car unloaded, get the pump installed, get that installed, install the fuel pressure sensor, and start driving this thing again. I absolutely love driving this car. But you guys are all the best. Thank you for always tuning in. Till the next video, race family. Later, guys.